how are you today? I hope you are having a wonderful day. You know what I haven't done in forever? I haven't done a favorites video. And I don't know why, I just sort of like fell out of the habit and I don't know, yeah, so I just fell out of the habit, so I gotta start that habit again because I love doing favorites videos. I think you guys kind of like it. When I, and I don't know how other people do their favorites videos, but for me, it's sort of like, what have I brought into my life in the last month? Well, you know, when I was doing them every month, I would do a month. Uh, but what's the thing I brought into my life that I just find myself reaching for over and over and over again? And sometimes there are things that have been sent to me for free. Thank you. And sometimes there are things that I've purchased myself. Uh, but what matters is that these are the things that I find that I keep reaching for over and over and that I, I rebuy over and over, the things that I just really like. Okay, stop talking, Monique, get to it. Not a whole bunch of stuff, but some stuff. And now that we're gonna be making this into a habit, we'll be getting more, you know. So these are my, I guess we're gonna call them August favorites. It's really August, July, June, May, gosh, whenever the last time I had a favorites thing was, so it's been a while. Anyway, let's get to it. Number one favorite thing. How do you like my new setup? When we moved and I tried doing just a, a background behind me because literally what's behind me is two doors and one door looks right into the bathroom and the cat box. I mean, so that's what you would see right, be right behind me if I didn't have this, this fake wall. So I started, I got a bunch of backdrops and I really hated the way they all looked. They just looked cheesy. And this looks a little cheesy, but it's okay because we're friends and, you know, friends can accept that we're going through a time where I got a cheesy looking background. But I'm, I'm pleased with it. I have had lighting issues, uh, both from my location where I live and this background being so dark has created some other lighting issues. I've had a lot of videos that I've shot that got completely blown out and I had to scrap. So hopefully this is a good one. But super pleased with it. Was able to get my chandelier back up. This chandelier, I bought this chandelier 12 years ago for 50 bucks. And it was a store called shopwildthings.com. I will look for it. I will put a link down below. And it is literally just a, a frame with these are acrylic beads. So these are just plastic beads. And then it has a, a light bulb that hangs down in the middle of it. And I have moved this from place to place to place over the past 12 years. And I, I just love it. And they're super inexpensive. So you could get two of these and put one on each side of the bed and have it be very dramatic. That's something I plan on doing one of these days, you know. Uh, that would be a really dramatic look. Uh, they have a whole bunch of these things on this website. Uh, they're all like super cheap things that event planners would shop for when they're putting on like giant weddings and giant parties. And so they have these things. And so that is the information on my chandelier, my faux chandelier, my plasta chandelier. I don't know what you call that, but that's a favorite and I'm glad to have my favorite back. Okay, I did a video about my skincare regimen and I, everyone always seems to think that these are sponsored things, they're not. This was an item sent to me for free, but I've been using this for, I guess it's about four to five months now and you know my skin is really acne prone and it still breaks out, I'm not gonna lie to you, there, I couldn't because you've seen my face with no makeup on too many times. But my skin seems to feel 
less schizophrenic when I wear, when I use the Metron system. So check out that video. I'll put a link for it right there for you. Uh, really, really pleased with this system. It's five products and yeah, I just got a new one. Uh, so they are even numbered one, two, three, four, five, so that you can't make a mistake when using them. And I've just really, really enjoyed them. I still break out, but when I do have a breakout now, the pimples are smaller and more manageable and they go away quicker. So for those of you who have more normal skin, this is gonna be just, just wonderful for you. And it's super affordable. A six month supply is about 150 bucks. So not a terribly expensive, yes, you've got an outlay a bunch of cash right up front. Uh, they do have travel sizes available that are smaller if it's something that you're interested in. This isn't like one of those like, I'm not making super anti-aging promises with this. If you're like looking for a miracle in a bottle for, oh, it's gonna make all your wrinkles go away? No, no. But it did make my oily skin a little more normal and I had some dry patches in here that I always seem to have that are also more normal. So it's taken the extremes of my skin away and made it, brought it more to the center so it behaves normally. So this is a favorite for that reason. Got mosquitoes? Cause we got mosquitoes. We have had a lot of mosquitoes and there is nothing that I love more than sitting outside on a summer night, even though we just have a tiny little balcony. I love to just sit outside and, you know, have, have that glass of wine left over from dinner and just sit outside in the night air and it's just so wonderful, but my boyfriend is getting chewed up with mosquitoes because, well, I got to admit it, he's a tasty snack. <laughs> I am not as much of a tasty snack. The mosquitoes don't like me as much as they like Howard, but I feel terrible because he comes outside to sit with me and he just gets chewed up. He doesn't really like the smell of citronella, doesn't really go for a citronella candle. And we've been kind of like trying to figure out, well, what could we do? I found these. These are an incense stick. Murphy's Natural Deet Free Plant-Based Incense Sticks. And these are basically made of sawdust. And then they have um, num, 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 num. rosemary, peppermint, citronella, lemongrass, and cedar wood. So it has all of those oils and it gives off a very strong smell that the mosquitoes don't like. Now, that's a big concern if what if the people don't like it, especially because we keep our windows open all the time. And my balcony that we sit out on is right in front of my bedroom. So if I have a window open and some scent, it's going all in my bedroom. So it better be pleasant. And this is really, really nice and it's man approved <laughs> because it really just kind of smells like a campfire. It's a very pleasant, smoky smell. It's definitely got a smoky smell, but it is pleasant. And we've really been enjoying this. I also bought him the Avon Skin So Soft. Remember that? that has the citronella oil in it, but it doesn't really smell citronella-y. It just smells kind of woodsy. Uh, I got him some of that for him to try because I thought that might be a nice alternative that you can put something on your skin that's actually doing something for you. And it turns out he's really been enjoying that and not having mosquito bites. So very much a favorite because I'm not getting bit, he's not getting bit, I'm not hearing about him getting bit, and we get to go outside and have our wine on the, in the evening hours. <laughs> so Murphy's Mosquito Repellent Incense. I got this on Amazon. It's, this, this particular one hasn't been opened yet. I bought a couple of them, but you can see, ooh, it smells. You can see they're just these thick incense sticks. I guess I can open this, show you what it looks like. The, 
other pack that's open is outside. So you can see it's just an incense stick. It's gonna last a couple of hours. If we're not gonna be outside for long, I, I just take it and I turn it upside down into a pot in the soil and then it goes out and then the next day I just flip it over and relight it. Oh, everyone asked me about my bra in uh, the, that I, oh gosh, I did a video a couple days ago where I was just sweating to death. You can just see the sweat climbing off of me and I couldn't even bear to have my clothes on. So I had on a strapless bra on my Spanx as I was getting ready and everyone had said, what's the brand of the strapless bra? And gosh, I gotta tell you, I have no idea because that bra is ancient. That bra is so, so old. And I think it was originally a convertible bra and I was able to put straps in it, but I lost the straps years ago and I only ever wear it as a strapless bra. It's probably Felina brand because I tend to buy Felina bras. Uh, Felina is one of the few companies that makes a 32C, which is my size. Usually I end up buying 34B because that's much more available, but I'm actually a 32C because I'm kind of narrow in the rib cage. So I'm thinking it's a Felina bra for those of you who asked. What else we got? Okay, let's get some makeup y, like, like, you know, girly stuff. Okay, y'all know I've been in a boot all freaking summer long. And you know what that means? I have not been shaving my legs, cause why? And I finally couldn't take it anymore. I was such a hairy beast. And this was sent to me for free. This is a new razor, little different in its shape. This is by a company called Aveline. And you know, I've done waxing. I'm not a candidate for having my legs lasered because my hair is too fair. And even though I've done waxing a bunch, I always just end up going back to a razor. And my razors, you know, I get the ones at the grocery store and they're fine, they, they do fine. This was sent to me for free and it's a different shape and you wear it like a ring and you use your finger on the blade to sort of play and it's very kind of just press and it's very intuitive and this head gosh I'm not sure how you can see this this head is super flexible and it really glides across the skin and whether you choose to hold it like a traditional razor or whether you choose to go with this, which I thought would be weird, but it's really very intuitive. I really like this razor. So if you are a dinosaur like me and you shave your legs rather than doing the other things, try Aveline. Um, it's, I'll drop the information for you down below. Uh, really, really like it. They have a couple of products. They have a body lotion they sent me. I like the body lotion. They have a shave cream. Uh, I like the shave cream, though sometimes I'm a little too heavy handed with it. They have a uh, an exfoliator, which I don't love. It just makes the shower too slippery. But, you know, two out of three, but actually I got three out of four. Uh, so I like three out of four of their items. The other one, not so much. But Aveline is the brand and it's this weird little razor and Really, really like it. Very pleased with the results. So I was reading this article about dry oil. It was written by some hoity-toity makeup artist who does like runway shows and said the best sheen that you get on skin is from a dry oil. And so I started looking for a dry oil because you know, I want to have the best sheen on my skin when I'm out doing hoity-toity events. Yeah, I'm really not going to anything because I'm in the mood. But um, this is one that I found. It's by Super Goop and it's a sunscreen. So it's SPF 50. And I did not buy it with the intention of using it as a sunscreen. I really bought it with the intention of just using it as something to give a nice sheen on my skin. 
won't get this on my blouse, but it does absorb right in and it doesn't make your make your skin feel really slippery. Uh, but you can see it's got a nice sheen on the skin and it's SPF. So, I mean, most of the time I'm wearing this at night. That was my plan, but it's kind of nice to have something with sunscreen and I've used it a few times as sunscreen. It's worked great, though I still, as a sunscreen, I think you always want to go with the zinc oxide because nothing's better, but tried it liked it probably gonna keep buying it because it's killing a couple birds with one stone and i just really really enjoy the finish that it has so that is super goop sun defying sunscreen oil but you don't have to use it as sunscreen you can just use it as a dry oil and it makes your skin look terrific Remember how I talked about breakouts and how I get these little like hormonal? My skin has just been going crazy with menopause. You know, you go six months one way and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, we're back into that again. And just these hormonal flushes. So while I'm having these breakouts, I get these little spots periodically. And it's weird because they're, they're generally like right in this area, which is strange for me. And I got this Patchology breakout box and I loved it. Love, love, loved it. Comes with two different types of patches and tells you how to use it. I did a video about it. Uh, thought it was terrific. Well, I'm a little cheap and this is like 20 bucks. And I went, well, let me just get one. Let me just get another patch that's cheaper. So I went down to CVS and I got patches that were cheaper. Uh, but I had to buy two different ones in order to get the hydrocolloid and, and the salicylic acid. So I got this one and I got this one and I will tell you, they don't work nearly as well. So. Hi honey, I'm just finishing up a video. Okay. So got these at CVS. You can pick up these different pimple patches if you have a little little breakout. They're really handy to have around, but I will tell you that the Patchology breakout box is my favorite, and this is what I'm buying. And the last thing I'm talking about, Olaplex. Actually, two different products from Olaplex. Uh, as you know, Olaplex, set that down, Monique. As you know, Olaplex is fabulous for repairing the bonds in hair that's going through a bleaching process. And about a year and a half ago, I had to have some parts of my hair in the front bleached for a film, which by the way, theatrical release, October 4, Cuck in theaters, October 4. I'll put the link to the, the trailer right there. You can check it out, Cuck, October 4, coming to theaters. Okay, uh, so that's how I got turned on to Olaplex. And I, I would use the Olaplex number three periodically to sort of repair the hair. And then I saw they came out with an Olaplex number five, which is a bond maintenance conditioner. It's super thick, so I always keep it upside down in the shower. And this really has my hair feeling great. One of the unfortunate side effects is that my hair is feeling so great, it doesn't really want to do anything. It's like, it's so soft. I pull it in a ponytail and it just sort of slides out, but I'll take it. I got no complaints with having hair that's too soft and too healthy. I will take it because my hair goes through some drama. Uh, but keep it upside down in the shower. And I ordered this from Sephora because I liked the Olaplex number three and I liked the Olaplex number five. I went and got the Olaplex number six. This is a styling cream. This is not a heat protective cream, however, so I still use a heat protector. But this cream gives me great body and it makes my hair look terrific. So when I need to do 
that perfect blowout and have it look smooth and shiny, but with body, oh my gosh, you guys, the Olaplex number six is terrific. It keeps your hair feeling really soft, really touchable, has nice movement, cannot recommend it enough. And my last favorite, I don't have it on right now because I had an audition and my hair had to be wavy, but I love my fringe so much. Washed with the purple shampoo so it doesn't quite match today. Uh, clip on bangs, style changer, life changer, get you some clip on bangs. These are from Uniwigs, but I don't care where you get your bangs, guys. Just get clip on bangs. They are so terrific. On the days when I just I don't feel like doing anything with my hair. I, in fact, and just put it on real quick. The days that I do not feel like doing anything with my hair, obviously it works better when my hair is straight, but clip it on. And there you go, instant hair. It works, you know, you can put your hair up, you can put it in a ponytail, but it gives you just a different look. Look at that set a little too far back. You don't want to back that far. Anyway, definitely something I recommend. Get some clip-on bangs. They're available in lots of colors. You can get human hair, you can get synthetic hair. They're on a variety of price points, depending on where you get them. Um, but I just think that is, super handy and these didn't match my hair quite exactly they were just a little like because I have the dark under my hair it's whiter on top but it's sort of darker underneath so what I did was I just took a matte gray eyeshadow and I put it on a brush and I just sort of brushed that a little onto it to just sort of like dingy it up a little make it not so bright white and that really helped a lot. So those are my favorites for August 2019. And uh, gonna start doing some more favorite videos for you. Sorry I forgot about them. That happens. But we all have favorites. And I love to make this a community where people can really help one another and source things out. So if you have some favorites that you've tried in the last month or two that are just, oh wow, I really like this and I'm gonna keep buying this. Drop it down below in the comments so that we can all learn from each other. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. I love you bunches and I will talk to you very soon. camera's lopsided again and uh, I'm gonna have to fix that. Oh. Okay, is that, on? is that all straight now? That looks a little straighter. Okay. Oh boy.